Red Bull has just shocked the F1 world once again. This time they have fully supported Christian Horner out of nowhere. Only weeks ago, it looked like we had seen the most of Horner on the grid, but as of right now, Red Bull seemed to be 100% behind him again. And to make things even crazier, because of its recent inquiry, Red Bull had no other choice then to suspend the female employee at the core of claims against Formula One team head Christian Horner, as this was the only other option if Horner's case were to be dismissed. But Red Bull have been warned that as long as Christian Horner holds onto the team boss seat, he'll not only damage Red Bull in the long run, but Max Verstappen will leave the team in the short term, and Toto Wolff will be the big winner. So what is exactly going on right now? After a female employee accused Horner of inappropriate behaviour, an independent lawyer chosen by Red Bull conducted an eight-week investigation. On the eve of the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix, Horner was cleared of any wrongdoing after an investigation of the evidence at the centre of the case, as well as interviews with key team officials. A statement from Red Bull at the time said, The independent investigation into the allegations made against Mr. Horner is complete, and Red Bull can confirm that the grievance has been dismissed. The complainant has a right of appeal. While no additional information was provided regarding the investigation's findings, it has been discovered that one of the consequences was to take action against the employee at the core of the situation. The accuser had continued to work with the team, but it was revealed at the start of F1's second race in Saudi Arabia that she had been suspended with full pay. The team has not issued an official statement on the subject, and when contacted, a representative declined to give out any specifics. The decision by Red Bull to suspend the employee adds another twist to a plot that has captivated F1 in recent weeks. Horner has been in mental distress since the situation first surfaced earlier this year, and he had to suffer a difficult weekend in Bahrain with the world's attention focused on his every move. His problem became worse when, only 24 hours after being exonerated of guilt by Red Bull, an unknown source communicated supposed evidence from the case to key F1 officials, including team directors and the media. Days later, Horner and Max Verstappen's Joes had a public confrontation, which prompted the former F1 driver to speak to the press and ask for Horner's departure. It's safe to argue that the team boss has no chance of getting a break. So far, Horner has not spoken openly about the situation, but the public attacks on him have raised suspicions of a plot to bring him down for unknown reasons. In Bahrain, Shalom Yavidya, the Thai majority owner of Red Bull, expressed his strong support for Horner. The two were photographed on the grid before the race, and they both celebrated Verstappen's victory in Park Firm. Red Bull's managing director Oliver Mintzlaff is due to attend this weekend's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, and it would be fascinating to see whether he decides to remark on the topic, since there has been talk that the Austrian side of the firm is concerned about it. And there have been rumours going round that this was a strategic move by the Austrian side to gain more control over the F1 business. Ever since the news broke over a month ago, the Red Bull parent company's lack of transparency about the entire process has fueled wild conjecture. F1 and the FIA have cautiously intervened by meeting with Horner separately and are closely monitoring the issue, with fears that it is harming the championship, but neither has taken any action. Following last week's Bahrain Grand Prix, Max Verstappen's father, Joss, basically asked Horner to quit. He said that under Horner's leadership, Red Bull was in danger of disintegrating, and that the stress created by the scenario may force the squad to explode. And Joss wasn't the only Verstappen talking on the subject in recent days, as Max Verstappen has emphasised the need of creating a quiet environment where everyone is happy to work at Red Bull. Verstappen was asked ahead of this weekend's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix if he and Horner could coexist on the same team in light of his father's statements, and he said, We are at the moment. Pressed on the suggestion that Red Bull must decide between one or the other, he added, I saw a lot of stories about that, which is not very good to read. But from my side, what I want, and that doesn't matter who's involved in the team or not, is to have, of course, a quiet environment where everyone is happy to work. Verstappen also expressed his delight in Red Bull's ability to drown out the noise and dominate in Bahrain, where three-time world champion and teammate Sergio Perez scored the team's eighth 1-2 result since the beginning of 2023. He said, It's not about being isolated from it. I think you could see in Bahrain that it doesn't affect the performance of the team. Of course, ideally, as a team, you wouldn't like to have these kinds of moments, but it also shows that I think we are all quite focused on our job. 
and that's of course to perform on the track. Verstappen's comments came after he did not separate himself from his father's remarks on Horner, arguing it would be weird if he had a different opinion given the tight relationship between the two and his manager, Raymond Vermeulen. I was with him until yesterday. We speak all the time, we're a team, Verstappen said of his father. It's me, my dad, and Raymond all together. That will always be like that, also, but I guess he clearly felt like that. From my side, it doesn't matter being on one side or the other side. As a son of my dad, it'd be weird to be on a different side. But from my side, I just want to focus on the performance side of things. I just want to have less talk of what we are doing as a team outside of the track than the actual performance, which, at the moment, I think we have a great car and we're looking forward to a great year. When asked if he feels his father regrets his statements on Horner, Verstappen replied, I haven't asked him that. From how I know him, he's always very outspoken. He's not a liar, that's for sure. It's clear to see that Max is choosing his father's side during this chaotic time, automatically forming a front against Horner. What does this imply? Well, Ralf Schumacher believes the fact that Red Bull is now 100% behind Horner will cost them a lot in the near future. If Christian Horner holds onto his seat with all his might, he will not only damage Red Bull, he will also ensure that Max Verstappen leaves the team, he said. I see it very critically. What has been achieved at the moment is that the best team that has existed in the last decade, with Mercedes, is currently destroying itself from the inside. I think Toto Wolff is there as an onlooker with relatively great joy. He can come out of this as a big winner. Verstappen has been heavily associated with Wolff's Mercedes team throughout the crisis, with The Telegraph saying that Verstappen might quit Red Bull for Mercedes to replace Lewis Hamilton, and that Joss and Wolff were spotted conversing many times in Bahrain. But they're not only losing Verstappen if they're keeping Horner, as another pivotal team member is said to be persuaded by the red side of the grid. Lewis Hamilton has hinted that Ferrari might sign Adrian Newey for F1 2025 amid the present turmoil at Red Bull, stating his move to the Scuderia demonstrates that anything is possible. When asked if he could see Newey moving to Ferrari, Hamilton told reporters in Jeddah, I think my move has shown that anything is possible and it's going to be a really interesting next six months or so. But in terms of Adrian having worked within the team, I know obviously Adrian gets all the praise for everybody's work. I know he's a huge part of it, of course, but I know there's so many engineers in the background that are a huge part of developing the team and the car that they have and it's not down to one person. So it is not my decision. I'm competing against him this year at the moment, so I can't really talk about next year so far just yet. Are Red Bull ever going to leave this chaos behind them? And will we see Verstappen, Nui, and maybe others leave at the end of the year due to Red Bull's continued support of Horner? What do you think? Comment your thoughts down below.